good morning everyone and good morning to ireland and good afternoon to our viewers from india i welcome you all on another interesting episode of india ireland friendship lecture series on the topic mango festival of lucknow farmers market and its impact on women entrepreneurship and to speak on this subject we welcome ms jyotsna kaur habibullah who is ceo of lucknow farmers market this is the first sustainable online community in india which connects grassroots level entrepreneurs and farmers to consumers with an interactive space to learn to live sustainably an mba from kas business school london she has over 20 years of experience worldwide in international marketing having lived and worked in dubai london mumbai and delhi she has been working on skill development and creating self reliance amongst groups of women in village sadnapur in district barabanki and in lucknow since 2011 her focus is on sustainable livelihoods sanitation women's health and menstrual hygiene she is also founder of fikki flo that is fikki ladies organization lucknow and kanpur chapters and involved at a national level as part of the governing body of FLO working for women's empowerment since 2015 Ms Josna holds multiple roles to mention a few she is executive director of Maxell leadership forum and in there she is heading women's leadership forum founder president of Avadh Mango Growers Association founder of UP Mango Festival which is now in the 8th year bringing together farmers consumers members of the press government institutions in research for agriculture supporting rural entrepreneurship to attract eco and culinary tourism she restored her 250 years old family home habibullah estate in hazrat ganj into a boutique retail space bringing the best indian fashion brands to lucknow she also hosted events like royal fables and women writers festival also curated the seventh book in pupil place project series showcasing 45 lucknow stories she is also mentor and volunteer for dan utsav india's festival of giving which is yet another way of supporting people in need before we invite ms josna to share her thoughts and experience with us i would request his excellency ambassador of india shri aklesh mishra to give introductory remarks to today's talk namaskar aap josna ji sab Well, first of all i must uh, thank you for accepting our invitation i know how busy you are and how like multiple facets of your uh, daily life uh, your activities your entrepreneurship your leadership your inspiring role uh, to women and also to the uh, uh, farmers uh, we are so uh, so busy but still you are kind to accept our invitation we are very grateful uh, 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 just to give you the background of uh, uh, India Ireland friendship lecture series, uh, you know India and Ireland have a very long-standing friendship. Uh, Ireland was a great source of inspiration to us when we were fighting for our independence. Uh, we were drafting our constitution. Uh, Ireland's constitution of 1937 was a very important source of inspiration and guidance to us uh, in developing republican constitution and modern ideas. Uh, uh also in terms of art and culture and entrepreneurship innovation uh, uh, we have had a lot of interesting conversations uh, going on both sides uh, uh, uh ravindra tagore uh, had very close friendship with uh, again uh, irish very renowned nobel laureate uh, dr b h so their friendship was very useful very iconic uh, 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 of uh, the potential between india and ireland in domain of ideas uh, in terms of the contemporary relationship uh, we have a, a very vibrant people to people exchange very very people to people uh, ties uh, uh, indian community uh, recently uh, the census information came out that indian community in ireland is the largest uh, non european community in ireland Uh, and, and also indian students are uh, growing uh, indian india accounts for the largest number of in, uh, foreign international students in irish universities so we have very vibrant uh, relationship by the 
people's level. But uh, to, the potential is very, very large, which is untapped. Uh, in, uh, because Ireland is the fastest growing economy in European Union. Uh, Ireland is the most successful in, in, in uh, providing ecosystem for entrepreneurship and startups. Uh, Ireland has uh, uh, 16 to 17% success rate in startups, whereas uh, the European average is only 6 to 7%. So, uh, and also uh, Ireland's soft power, its utilization of its art and culture and, and, and uh, sustainable solutions and poetry and music. To, uh, there's a lot for India and Ireland to learn from each other. And also we are not in conflict because the, the Irish art and traditions and culture is quite different from ours. Although we share similar values of family and, and respect for nature and respect for other human beings. Uh, so, uh, as India's ambassador, I'm looking for new ways of leveraging each other's complementarities. And the biggest uh, handicap we found was uh, the lack of information about India in Ireland and lack of awareness about Ireland in India. So we have started, uh, thanks to Himaji's support, uh, we, since last year we have started uh, this uh, virtual platform. The idea is uh, to use it as a platform for showcasing uh, positive stories from India in different sectors, uh, which may be of interest to Irish friends. Similarly, showcase uh, the, a lot of creative, innovative, entrepreneurial success stories from Ireland for the benefit of the Indian uh, people. Uh, the, the objective is that such conversations with minimal cost, minimal expenditure will allow people to get connected and be more aware. And that will, I'm sure, open up a lot of opportunities for direct people to people connect and forging of mutually beneficial ties. Your case came to our notice and we felt very inspired because uh, like many facets of your work are very relevant for India Ireland relationship. Uh, one is sustainability is very high priority for Ireland and also for India. Uh, sustainable farming is even more important for both our countries. Uh, thirdly, the use of digital technology to empower women uh, and uh, grassroots level entrepreneurship, innovation. The activities that you are doing are quite relevant for uh, friends here also. So, uh, and also in terms of like your role in fashion and other techno other like women-led uh, creativities. So I think your speech, your work would be of significant interest to Irish friends. And I'm sure that after your presentation, we will come up with very interesting ideas how to do follow up and actually take the linkages to a more substantive level. Uh, with these words, I welcome you once again to this platform, uh, to this very distinguished uh, uh, India Ireland Friendship Lecture Series. And we are very privileged to host you and are very excited to uh, have the opportunity of uh, listening to your presentation and learning more firsthand about uh, your, your work. Uh, and, and then we can think of uh, what next uh, in terms of actual partnership and actual exchange. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, sir. It's it's really it is uh, you know my privilege to be invited by you all because uh, I think all of us do the work that we can as individuals. But when we join hands and when we collaborate to come together, it's then that you know our work can go to the next level and reach the people that it needs to reach. You know, so uh, I of course uh, you know as you said I studied in London, so. I did travel a little bit in Ireland and I got to interact with a lot of people from Ireland. So I think there's a lot of commonality between India and Ireland, the sense of family, the sense of community, the shared, there's a lot of shared values there. So uh, I'm really excited to be talking about the Mango Festival there. And particularly because this year, the place, you know, every year we have our Mango Festival in a different orchard. Of mm -hmm. course, our dream is that there should be hundreds of orchards across the country we should be able to, you know, right now we've listed about eight or nine orchards on our uh, lucknowfarmersmarket.com uh, portal where people can actually go and visit these orchards in other parts of India too. There's one outside uh, Gujarat in Jambuguda. This is also a 
you know, a heritage, uh, Jambuguda Palace. There's one outside uh, Corbett um, in Uttarakhand uh, called um, Foothills Himalayas. But there's some beautiful orchards around Lucknow. So the idea is that every year we take people for a visit to one orchard because it's surprising. This is the mango belt of India. I mean, I grew up in Punjab and mangoes are like a central part of summer for me. You know, I don't understand who people, like Ghalib said, I'm allowed to use a little bit of Hindi also, and I'm sure we'll have subtitles. So very famous Indian poet uh, Ghalib used to say that, uh, hi aam nahi khate. So it's only a donkey who really doesn't eat mangoes because mangoes are, you know, literally, I think the most delicious fruit. And we have such an amazing bounty. I mean, UP is the largest producer of mangoes in India. We, we put up the, in the festival, we'll go through, shall we start the presentation and we can show some pictures and details about uh, the festival itself. And, and then we can have a dialogue and hopefully some questions from people and see how we can engage with, because I started this as a community run initiative. So can we start the PPT as well? Hey, my team? Yeah. So the concept is that, I mean, this year, actually, uh, the festival, since I started it, is actually in its 11th year because I launched it in 2013. But because we in two years during COVID, uh, we didn't conduct the festival. Please go ahead. We didn't conduct. Next slide, please. We didn't conduct the festival physically, but that's the time that we went online. And we, um, you know, went, uh, uh, started our online platform. Next slide, please. And uh, so that we could actually, you know, take people to the next level. We actually tied up for the first time. I started a Mango Growers Association, the Avad Mango Growers Association. And we tied up with the tourism department, the horticulture department and the Mango Institute, the Central Institute of uh, Subtropical Horticulture to organize this festival. Next slide, please. The idea was to promote ecotourism, agribusiness, now, this year, it's actually very exciting. We are bringing uh, Chef Vicky Ratnani, who's a very well-known Indian chef who's been abroad, and he's going to do a mango masterclass. He's going to actually travel all around these mango orchards, discover the amazing foods of our, you know, in uh, UP, there are all kinds of delicious things, mango. Like, we use mango as a souring agent, like tamarind is used uh, in other parts of the world and in the country. So uh, in the Golgappas, uh, Pani Puri, you know, those uh, crunchy, delicious uh, sort of, you know, it's a snack filled with uh, spicy water that's made, that's flavored with mango. And in the mango season, it's actually flavored with, uh, you know, raw mango or ripe mango itself. And there's so many things like you tenderize meat with raw papaya. So the kebabs are tenderized with raw mango. So you can't imagine the kind of foods that we have experienced over the years. About 400 new products have been launched every year at our festival. So this year where our festival is going to be is somewhere also linked with my Ireland. So I'm really excited to be talking to you. And when I was talking to the farmer, because it's a young progressive farmer couple, uh, Madhavendra Singh and his wife Navnidhi, I think you can talk to them next because they've called their farm... Um, uh, they, uh, Madha Vudyan, but they've started a mead meadery and they're going to be making mead mead of, of honey, of mangoes and of different fruits so this is some of the things that we're doing um, there's also a mobile app for farmers that was launched and the idea is that this is a festival like you all have lots of festivals like this abroad which are sort of public private partnerships that actually drive you know agriculture and take it to the next level. Next slide please this year, Lebua is a partner for us also. Now, last year, we had an amazing uh, festival at a beautiful orchard uh, called Vintage Village. Uh, we have lots of these videos. If you go to Lucknow Farmers Market on our Instagram or Facebook, on our YouTube channel, and people came from Lucknow 200 kilometers and, you know, visited this orchard, had an amazing time experiencing mangoes on the trees, eating food with mangoes. And every year we put up a show in collaboration with the Mango Institute, which is the Central Institute of Subtropical Horticulture, just outside Lucknow. It's the Indian Council of Agricultural Research body here. And they have more than 800 varieties of mangoes, over 200 acres. So imagine there's this beautiful show where you have the purple mango that was developed for Japan. 
and you know most people know four or five mango varieties i'm 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 going to ask you sir to tell me the mango varieties you know and we can ask people to post the varieties they know in the facebook comments so i know you know uh, langra and chosa are there any other varieties that you can name sir you are still on mute Yeah, chosa, dashari. Um. So yeah, we we have some amazing mangoes that are here right now. So I've cut the mang, had the mango cut right now, so that you can see the lovely wow. orange mango. And I wish you guys were here to like smell and taste this mango because the mangoes are so delicious. From the raw mangoes, which are used for arm ka panna. Next slide, please. So we have around a hundred and twenty entrepreneurs. and students who every year they join us as a team to actually you know uh, help us conduct the festival so the vision is to actually help us to make this an event for the uttar pradesh state as a whole right bringing people here in the summer because people think that it's really hot and we shouldn't travel but the fact people love mango so much uh, associated associated uh, press the french uh, ch uh, channel actually covered our mango festival a couple of years ago and you can again see the video on youtube so the idea is also you know helping to develop this value chain of mango the linkages that we can help doing for farmers next slide please because we can do things like help entrepreneurs by connecting them directly to farmers to help them to uh, develop products with it and um, the uh, the infrastructure that's required i mean it's surprising though this is the largest mango producing belt there is no uh, pulp producing unit over here right now it's only in the uh, cish in the university that they are able to you know they have a unit and they can produce some pulp so whereas there's a lot of drink making and a lot of allied industries that can use pulp but you know there uh, we have to still uh, set up a unit over here there's a lot of cottage industries that are here through mango and every year there are more and more products that are coming so there's a lot that can be done by having you know uh, uh using marketing and strategy to actually better um the mango product and its by products and also the know how given to farmers because a lot more organic means can be used which used to be used in the past next slide please like you know we used to use a lot of neem uh, and chilies and all to help Uh, and composting to help dealing with pests so uh, where we started with 10 volunteers i started this festival on my own without an organization you know just by registering an ngo and because i was part of a student organization called isec in delhi university i actually reached out to isec here and i got 10 volunteers and some of them were international students and now every year we get about 100 volunteers who i mean i have a team now lucknow farmers market is now a registered company i have a team but uh, we need a lot of volunteers because there's a lot of running around and also you see we want to develop this love of nature so this concept that students should interact with farmers they should know they should value that see if somebody presents you with a plate like this of mangoes ideally nothing should be left in the end see unfortunately what happens is that people cut a mango uh, they'll have a piece uh, they'll eat food anything you serve right uh, rice anything else but they leave a lot of food on their plate but when these students go and visit the farm and go to farmers they realize a farmer works all year mangoes only give you a crop for two months of the year whereas the farmer has to work really hard all through the year to ensure his two months crop and there's all kinds of issues uh, one year last year in march we had a uh, 40 degree centigrade uh, heat so the mango flowers withered away this year we've had rain up to the middle of may so it wasn't hot enough the mango fruit is very late this year so you can see actually it's much smaller than it should be but i mean you know fortunately the taste isn't compromised um so there's so many issues that you know we can help address and then there's a lot of access for entrepreneurship through this also and it gives young people and uh, actually a way to actually make an impact and make a difference and grow as individuals too next slide please
So of course, uh, we've had a lot of support from the media. This was an amazing year when we were able to actually have. I don't know. This was many years ago when we had. You know, we were. Oh, that was the third year. That was in two thousand sixteen, where we had this huge newspaper ad. But see, the thing is, we need a lot of support also from uh, the press. We need uh, support from the government. We need support from non non government organizations and private organizations to help us actually. Take this to the next level. Now it's moving ahead by itself, but it can be much bigger and have a bigger impact. So you see here, Master Chef Pankaj Badoria in these pictures. So we started with a cooking contest with this Master Chef Pankaj Badoria from the first year. Now the first year we conducted it in our orchard, and the cooking contest had three participants. Two of them were my sons, or four participants. Two were my sons. One was my husband's aunt, and okay, for sorry, uh, two participants from outside. Five of them. and two people actually turned up because of our facebook invitation now every year we have hundreds of participants who you know the chefs are all home chefs are waiting when is the festival going to be and every year people are trying you know there's mango raw mango sushi there's cabbage rolls with mango and such interesting you know uh, recipes it is mind blowing next slide please so again these are just some of the pictures the uh, next slide please which show you know the media coverage how in in uh, in the orchard how people enjoy uh, you know uh, just eating experiencing mangoes in the orchard is something that's so much fun next slide please sorry a lot of these are in hindi uh, we've had support from the government over the years next slide please and the biggest uh, festival actually happened when uh, we had it at janeshwar mishra park uh, um, which was in 2016 and uh, you know there, there we had a huge uh, number of farmers that had participated next slide please so we've had the support of many organizations of course the main organization i have to thank is the central institute for subtropical horticulture which is the indian council of agricultural research body because you know i actually was going to them uh, to tell them that you know let's do something to promote mangoes because of my background in marketing and looking after my own family mango orchard and there was uh, an amazing um, uh, director there at the time and he said that you know ma'am nothing is going to happen unless you do it so i gave an idea and a plan and i got you know sort of it came on to me and i've been doing it for the last 13 years but it's been very exciting there have been some very good is officers in the tourism department when we started and also currently also mukesh meshram ji is really you know helping us take it to the next level uh, nabard has supported it from the beginning and uh, there's a lot that we can do and we need more organizations we need more partners thank you next slide please Uh, so of course we have had a lot of support from um, you know the, uh, the corporate so it's really interesting gyan is a milk brand based in lucknow and they launched their mango lassi one year with us but again they had to get the mango pulp all the way from maharashtra next slide please maza has been supporting the festival you know right from the beginning and it's great to have their support next slide please yeah so uh, now that was more about the festival now the festival actually led to me forming the farmers market so actually i launched lucknow farmers market as a concept online because of the festival that every year i used to organize a mango festival and once a year we used to have a farmers market so through that 2013 first mango festival we came up with the concept of having a regular farmers market and we were actually able to launch this farmers market um in uh, 2015 and have it as a regular farmers market and now uh, you know from having a once a year farmers market it became more frequent because people became aware first we used to have to pull and bring the farmers pull and bring consumers and now people love the farmers market so much that we are conducting monthly so we have a last sunday of every month farmers market fortunately we have a beautiful heritage retail space that we created from my husband's family uh, you know heritage home here in lucknow called habibullah estate in hazrat ganj and we conduct the farmers market here so it's right here it's in the heart of the city and we would love to take the farmers market to other uh, you know parts of the 
uh, country and the world. So, you know, lovely sustainable products uh, like bamboo toothbrushes. These bamboo toothbrushes were developed by a young uh, Amity University student when he was just in college. He wanted the concept of bamboo. So just some of the products I use every day, you know, like a bamboo bag, um, a wooden comb. See, these are sustainable options that we can have, which can really help to make a difference. We can use these leaf, you know, donors. Uh, this is what we use every day for snacks in our office instead of using, and for all kinds of events, instead of using recycled products. Uh, the coffee I drink is organic coffee from Cool. Um, the lip color I'm wearing is a beetroot uh, stained lip color from one of our uh, farmer's market uh, uh, entrepreneurs. Um, oh, the earrings, um, you can see these mango. It's made by a jewelry designer who makes recycled and upcycled. So the idea is we can choose to be sustainable by making a choice ourselves. We don't have to ask somebody else. Next slide, please. So we have over 7,000 products on lucknowfarmersmarket.com. Um, it's really exciting. I have an all-women's team uh, with the, the support of uh, our CTO, uh, Chirag Warsi, who actually helped us develop the site. And I have a wonderful team here in Lucknow. This is my full-time team. And then I have people who contact me from all over the country who want to volunteer with us, who want to help support us. We have a great advisory board of lawyers and you know, uh, uh, professionals and people who help us take it to the next level. Next slide, please. So we're on Google, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You can just look us up on Lucknow Farmers Market. Um, so the idea is now for us to, I mean, we've developed our brand. We've, uh, you know, uh, launched it online. Now we want to expand the offering. We have more than around 100 mango-based products already on lucknowfarmersmarket.com. So everything from mango-based creams and soaps and shampoos, raw mango dishwash powder, such amazing products, you know, and traditional products like from Maharashtra, you'll have something they call amti, which is a dal which has, you know, dried raw mango. So they are really amazing traditional products. And, you know, the idea of using these traditional products is it helps boost our immunity. So if in mango season, we eat mangoes. If in jamun season, we eat jamun and the berries and the apples and whatever fruit is seasonal where you live, that's going to boost our immunity. If when our food becomes our medicine, we don't need medicine to make us better. We are already fit and healthy as we are. So the idea is we want to go around the globe. We want to be right there with you in Ireland. We want people to look at our products and, uh, you know, uh, help sustainable um, ent on enterprises and startups we there are people who are building their brand you know who are taking it to the next level so we want a lot of people to reach out to us this beautiful up mango festival logo you're looking at which has this yin and yang this was also developed through a contest we did and it was a community you know based uh, thing next um, slide please so we want to actually take this to the next level and we need a lot of people now to join hands together to uh, help us to make sure that what the hard work our farmers do, that this isn't lost. And the amazing produce, the fresh produce we have. I mean, I think fruit is the best snack possible. Uh, what could be yummier than a mango like this, right? So why should we spend money on eating all kinds of fancy things? We launched a concept of chef's table where we introduce local seasonal food in a new way. So at our chef's table, we had an amazing mango salad with all fresh ingredients. So I'd love to hear from you uh, how we can take this forward and any questions that anybody else has. Uh, sorry, sir, you have to unmute. Uh, Jyotsnaji, once again, my very sincere thanks for sparing time. Your presentation was so mesmerizing and your story, your, your, your enthusiasm is truly inspiring. Um, uh, you probably remember that our Prime Minister, uh, in, uh, together with the UN Secretary General, uh, launched a mission called LIFE, Lifestyle for Environment. Uh, the, the key message of our Prime Minister was that uh, things which appear very small, but if they are done as a as a community uh, by the community as a whole, that they have huge impact. 
So in that context, I must applaud the sustainable products that you and your team uh, members are producing. Uh, even like small, if if the, the plastic comb is re replaced by one sustainable product, it makes a lot of difference if done on a scale. So I must uh, thank you and also your team for coming up with such innovative daily use products. They can be very impactful. Uh, and also in India today, we have a, a, a extremely conducive environment for supporting startups and entrepreneurship. Uh, so if inspiring leaders like you who have international exposure and uh, professional uh, training as, as a marketer and, as, and use of uh, different social media tools, if you can be a mentor for the growing number of uh, entrepreneurs, uh, uh, young graduates to take up such themes uh, and be job creators rather than job seekers. That could be a huge contribution to the society. Uh, also, I think uh, collectively as a country with so much potential in agriculture, so much potential in um, mango and other, other uh, fruits and vegetables, I think uh, we have to combine the grassroots level activity in the form with the cutting edge, forward looking, global in outlook uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, so so uh, you, your role is very important and we in the embassy will be very happy to support in any way. You are the user. You tell us how we can support you. Uh, I do believe that uh, the opportunity that we have in India is that our traditional lifestyle had been very na nature friendly uh, and very uh, eco friendly. So we can develop a branding on organic products. Uh, also in terms of value addition, I think uh, uh, we uh, as a country, we uh, we have about 30, 40% of our fruits and vegetables simply going waste because of a local value addition. So even if you look at the, the mango and mango uh, product, uh, we, we need more value addition uh, and exporting also not only a, as just fresh mango, but also in terms of mango based products different. And you have done very interesting work in, in broadening the range with which my, uh, mango is connected now. So, uh, it's very inspiring story. Uh, I think what we can do next as I see, uh, Himaji will keep in touch with you to, to, to develop new ideas, uh, both, both on the agri uh, products and also in terms of sharing stories. Your success story in creating from a small nucleus, creating such a large network of people who are engaged. And uh, that this has been a great story. I think this story needs to be known uh, across India. Um, uh, and also, uh, so, so this is this branding of your own work is very important. It will inspire people in other parts of India. Uh, so let us see, you give us your thoughts and we will also put our heads together to come up with ideas. Also, I think uh, between India and Ireland, we can look at uh, sharing of similar success stories. You are also active in FIKI uh, on women leadership. It will be great to have a kind of round table on uh, sharing of experience between India and Ireland uh, of uh, inspiring women entrepreneurs. Uh, grassroots level. There are some who are renowned, very, very popular celebrities at the national and international level, uh, but there are a lot of women like who, like you uh, whose stories are not so well known. So if you can help us putting together uh, some young emerging uh, prominent women entrepreneurs and thought leaders uh, and their work, so I think we, we can do a round table uh, virtual or in, in person, depending on how it works out. So this is another area. Third area is, uh, uh, you, you said that you are also quite engaged in uh, fashion. Uh, so this, this is again one area I'm looking for connectivity between India and Ireland, uh, looking at Irish designers and Indian designers and how we can come together and share experience, best practices. Ireland, Ireland and Irish entrepreneurs have a tremendous edge over us because Ireland is uh, uh, like 
uh, at a central spot between Europe and transatlantic America and Canadian market. The, on one hand, it looks like it's a European peripheral uh, country, but it's not a peripheral country. It's truly central, connecting on one hand Europe, uh, and other hand America and the USA and Canada. So, and people are very innovative, very creative, very inherently globalized in outlook. So we can benefit a lot by sharing. Uh, and also Irish people can benefit a lot by uh, engaging uh, friends and uh, partners like you in gaining access to India's own growing market in different areas. So the connectivity is the key. And uh, you, friends like you can play a key role. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. That Those are all very valuable things that we can work on together. Just one thing I'd like to tell you. So about the mentorship, uh, already, you know, through there, 500 entrepreneurs connected with Lucknow Farmers Market, around 200 are in and around Lucknow. And with, I think, 70% of the ones in and around Lucknow, I have played a major role because of my background in marketing and building brands and all that in actually helping them shape their brands and strategy and connecting other people. So we yeah. have some amazing entrepreneurs at the moment. We have some fantastic brands. So if you want success stories, I could give you a success story a week uh, for eternity almost. And oh, we nice. could have, you know, focus on a new woman entrepreneur. Uh, there's uh, Shruti Shandilya. She started Tirwa Farms. It's another, uh, you know, just about two hours from Lucknow on the Delhi road. They moved back from Mumbai, this couple, young couple, and they've taken their old family space uh, heritage space and they've developed some beautiful products it's a beautiful story uh, you know we're promoting farm stays farm visits so uh, this mentorship uh, system is already something that's very strong which we've developed here uh, and then through the Fiki Women's Wing which I launched here in um, UP in 2015 I was the first chairperson here again that's another mentorship platform which we have 8,000 women around the country helping support young entrepreneurs and and established or older entrepreneurs who want to set up their businesses. Because see, for women entrepreneurship, there's a very huge potential because we talk about it all the time. But this block billion that we keep talking about in all the uh, forums and in all the, uh, until we actually make sure that we get women out there. Yes. And over COVID, we've seen a lot more women entrepreneurs come out. And I have two boys. So they find it very ironic that most of my work is with women. Of course, we don't say no to male entrepreneurs who want to join us. But it's just that I feel that the women need us to open the door and bring them in. Right. We need to widen the table for because I'm so happy that, you know, uh, here we are actually uh, two of us, uh, Hemaji, you and me and sir, yes. because unfortunately, most of the time on most conferences, panel discussions, you're there all over the world. Yeah. Only when there's a women's conference, there's all women. Otherwise, you know, I'll be the one token woman or we'll see one token woman on a board of a company, at an event or anywhere, right? So promoting women entrepreneurs is something I'm very passionate about. We are doing it at the grassroots level. At our village, we have a livelihood center. And uh, we would love you to have this series on women entrepreneurs. Excellent. Excellent. So that would be a great way to go forward. And I would love to invite everyone who's in and around Lucknow to please come on 18th and 25th June to the Mango Festival. On the 18th of June, you will get to travel to a beautiful idyllic orchard called Madhavudyan, which is just 30 minutes from Lucknow. And we provide carpool and bus services too. So just reach out to us on Lucknow Farmers Market on our Instagram, on uh, Facebook, or you can call us. You can see the number on our site. I can also put it here in the comments. And on the 25th of June, we are collaborating with the Lebua Hotel, where we'll have a lovely mango show with the Mango Institute, CISH. You will get to see a large variety of mangoes, a lot of farmers, entrepreneurs with products of mango, a mango-inspired art show. We have an amazing dean of uh, the technical AKTU University, Vandana Segalji, mm -hmm. who's an artist herself. And with her help, uh, you know, years ago, we did the first mango-inspired art show. See, everything from art to food is inspired by our produce yes. and mango is a very famous fruit because the paisley pattern which is known all over the world is the Indian ambi. Uh, mm. This chicken curry pattern I'm wearing today a lot of so much design is mango inspired mm. right 
So the sky is a limit for our entrepreneurs with what they can do with yeah. mango or any produce. It, this this again could be a great theme like connection between uh, mango and art, Indian art. Yeah. Uh, look at yes. sarees. Look at a lot of designs, yes. uh, folk traditions. Uh, a lot of connection between. Absolutely. So uh, also the historical, the one we, we uh, Himaji, let us plan one specifically, maybe give some space and plan one lecture on uh, mango and art. Yes. Uh, role of mango yes. in Indian art or Indian history. Sure, sir. So great. I'm so excited to have started this dialogue with all of you. And yes. I look forward to, I remember celebrating St. Patrick's Day in London. And so I hope with mangoes we can celebrate or, uh, yes. uh, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day with you all online with all these wonderful women entrepreneurs and the ideas that you all have. So I really would like to thank you for starting this. Thank you. Thank you, Josa Ji. Thank you, Himaji, for arranging this. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll keep in touch.